வாக்தான் இன் மூவிங் எ பாடி வாக்டன் இன் மூவிங் எ பாடி அப் எ ராஃப் இன்கிளைன் பிளேன் அப் எ ராஃப் இன்கிளைன் பிளேன் வி கேன் ட்ரா எ டயக்ராம் ஆஃப் இன்கிளைன் பிளேன் திஸ் இஸ் த இன்கிளைன் பிளேன் வார்டிக்கல் பிளேன் அண்ட் ஹாரஜென்டல் பிளேன் தீட்டா is the angle of inclination and ab is the inclined plane and theta is the angle of inclination theta is the angle of inclination a body of mass m is placed on the inclined plane and its weight mg is acting vertically downwards that such that mg acts perpendicular to the plane bc perpendicular to the horizontal plane bc and mg is resolved into two rectangular components this angle will be again theta which is equal to angle of inclination and this component will be mg cos theta x perpendicular to the inclined plane ab and we have the other component mg sin we have the other component mg cos theta mg sin theta and this rectangular component mg sin theta x parallel to the inclined plane ab we can uh, com- draw complete diagram of rectangle and this is uh, normal reaction r r is the normal reaction which acts perpendicular to the inclined plane in ab and here angle of inclination theta is le- angle of inclination theta less than theta r an external force an external force if x is acted on the body to move it up the inclined plane if x is the external force which is applied on the body to move it up the inclined plane in that case limiting friction fl will come into play down the inclined plane on the surface in contact fl is the limiting friction which comes into play due to application of external force if x let theta be the angle of inclination angle of inclination of the inclined plane ab theta be the angle of inclination of the inclined plane ab inclined plane ab such that theta less than theta r means angle of inclination is less than angle of repose theta less than theta r where theta r is the angle of repose at which the body is at the verge of moving down the inclined plane theta r is the angle of repose of the inclined plane ab the weight mg of the body placed on the inclined plane ab weight mg of the body placed on the inclined plane ab on the inclined plane ab is resolved into is resolved into two rectangular components mg cos theta and mg sin theta such that mg cos theta is perpendicular to ab and mg sin theta is parallel to ab when an external force fx is applied on the body placed on the inclined plane ab when an external force fx is applied on the body placed on the inclined plane ab we can draw the diagram inclined plane horizontal plane and uh, vertical plane theta is the angle of inclination this is the body the body of mass m and its weight mg acts vertically downwards the rectangular component of mg parallel to the inclined plane is mg sin theta if an external force fx is acted up the inclined plane to move in up the inclined plane in that case limiting friction fl will come into play down the inclined plane fl is the limiting friction which comes into play down the inclined plane due to application of the external force fx the limiting friction fl comes into play 
comes into play on the body on the surface in contact the limiting friction fl comes into play on the surface in contact between the body and the inclined plane between the body and the inclined plane ab and the inclined plane down and down the inclined plane surface in contact between the body and inclined plane down the inclined plane this is the direction of motion up the inclined plane and limiting friction fl acts down the inclined plane in this equilibrium condition in this equilibrium condition applied external force will be equal to net internal force in the opposite direction that means fx equal mg sin theta plus fl so fx is acting up the inclined plane which is external force and mg sin theta plus fl is a net internal force acting on the body fx equal mg sin theta plus mu dot r where mu is the coefficient of friction coefficient of friction coefficient of friction of the inclined plane with respect to the body and r equal mg cos theta which is the normal reaction on the body which is the normal reaction on the body mg cos theta is the rectangular component of weight mg which acts downwards and normal reaction r acts on the body which acts perpendicular to the inclined plane on uh, in vertically upward direction that's why we can write r equal mg cos theta therefore we get fx as mg sin theta plus mu mg cos theta therefore fx equal mg is taken common mg under bracket sin theta plus mu cos theta so we get the final uh, minimum exp uh, minimum expression of minimum force to move a body up the inclined plane now the body moves through a distance s the body moves through a distance s up the inclined plane up the inclined plane under the action of under the action of this force fx if we draw the diagram again in this case under the action of the external force fx the body gets displaced from the point p to q and at the final point mg that is weight of the body acts vertically downwards and under the action of this force fx the body gets displaced from p to q from the point p to q for a displacement s displacement of the body from p to q and this is the direction of motion of the body this is the direction along which the body will be displaced under the action of the external force fx and if we denote the displacement of the body that is from p to q this will be the distance traveled by the body or displacement of the body from the point p to q if the body gets displaced up the inclined plane for a displacement s the body will move from the point p to q from p to q this will be the displacement s s will be the distance traveled by the body when it travels from p to q under the action of the external force fx hence work done equal force into displacement work done equal force into displacement we can assume that external force fx and displacement are uh, in the same direction that's why cos 0 degree will be 1 and we get w as fx dot s fx into s s is the displacement or distance traveled by the body when it moves from the point p to q now if we put the expression of fx we get w as mg bracket open sin theta plus mu cos theta into s finally we get the expression of work done 
to move a body up the inclined plane for a displacement s that is w equal mg sin theta plus mu cos theta into s this is the work done this is the work done in moving this is the work done in moving a body up a rough inclined plane up the rough inclined plane up the rough inclined plane